So we're taking the rocket stove fireplace apart tonight. It's been one year since I built the original prototype. I noticed this top cross piece, the buildup of ash is exactly where I expected it to be because I noticed that the bottom, you notice the bottom there is a darker black and that top is gray where the heat has been going through. The cross piece has that same design, and as it got toward the other end, it was even deeper. This lower pipe here, I need to put a T in at the bottom because there was enough ash in there that that pipe was over half full. Um, we've been having some issues that led to taking this apart. Well, it's now um, April of 2014. Um, most of the pictures you just saw were of the uh, disassemble of this rocket stove fireplace assembly. All made out of 6 inch black stove pipe. Um, stuff you cannot see in this video is that down below this feed tube where you see two brick on the right is the is the firebox T. Behind it is an elbow that goes up behind these brick. And then here's the elbow you saw in the video that had uh, about a third full of ash. And then you see this cross pipe has that darker pattern. That was last year's ash buildup. And that was over one year. Um, I believe most of that was from the first part. I had some cardboard crates that I cut up that were like one inch thick cardboard. Tremendous amount of heat, but a tremendous amount of ash also. What I've learned since then is it makes awesome fire starter. I mean, it'll get this puppy up to 600 degrees in this top pipe, and your entire T, which we'll show you a little closer down here, will be glowing red. I usually don't remove all my ash in the T. Um, I've heard other rocket stove people say the same thing that. Um, I don't remember who, but the longer you leave your ash in, the finer it will burn down to. So if you're taking your ash out every day, you are taking out unburned um, particulate. Now something I've done different this year is I unstacked all these brick 
and I left a air chamber down here for the heat to come out of that that uh, T. I did the same thing in the back and I did the same thing over on this side so that has heat going out that way and I put wood over there that I want to dry it's dry wood it's just that you know it got left out in the rain so um, I put it there for like a day and it totally dries out and these two vents here when I have my fan I have a fan down here it's a high, little high velocity 12 inch I think it's no, it's 14 inch I think I blow that more this way into the firebox that draws cooler air into the firebox I've tried doing it opposite direction as some people have suggested and it was pointless it didn't do a thing drawing the cool air from the room into the firebox radiates heat out all around this it's pretty awesome um, I also I'm gonna show you my house it's not totally clean right now but I have one of those cheap media shelves behind this chair that has a high velocity fan here right now it's facing backward because I had a day that I tried to burn something I shouldn't and it smoked so I blow it toward the kitchen window but usually I turn that facing blowing into this room and I've tried it both ways but this is the best location I found blowing it up here above my stove is my stereo and TV so I blow cold cooler air up there and that makes it travel it brings the cooler air into this room so this room doesn't overheat which also lets that heat travel to the other parts of the house back here we're talking this is the length of uh, three small house bedrooms this this entire strip here so I've tried the fans different ways I've tried brick different ways and so far uh, this configuration of the brick in the crisscross pattern takes forever to warm up so but once it does it holds heat for quite a while where before I just had a, a stack like this only like 10 or 11 t tall it would warm up within less than an hour the whole stack and uh, it would radiate heat for quite a while but getting it in this thicker block with the heat coming underneath it uh, once it's warm it it uh, stays warm pretty well I have cans of water for humidity because when you use a wood stove it dries out your air and then I have this uh, pot that was missing a handle and it's scratched up inside so it makes a nice big humidity pot the cans you know after a few times they get calcification on them and stuff so you can throw them away and you know you're always opening a can of green beans or corn or something no big deal I have fireplace tools um, in previous videos if you look them up on YouTube I have a uh, ash tool I made and um, I have a little uh, a little rake for raking the ash out and I'm so it's working pretty nice once I get this warm the heat travels up the chimney and warms the chimney also so that's it if you need help or just to talk or whatever you can give me a call I put my number on my videos we're just uh, doing what we can on the cheap to get rid of those huge power bills heating bills we're trying to keep it as safe as possible um, the wire up here is just a 
wire as a safety wire just in case this were to somehow come apart <clears throat> and then I have a Vogelzang gauge up there that if I notice it gets close to a hundred I know it's time to kick the fans on that we're building up some good heat by then I have two other gauges here that I kind of watch one I can see from the couch and I can watch to see uh, how we're doing if, if we're getting good good fire sometimes sometimes what happens is this feed pipe you'll stick like a two by four and a, a piece of like a half inch thick board to three-quarter inch board burns really great you put a two by four with that together two by four by itself will sometimes go out and what's what I found is happening is no matter how clean this pipe is it's not slick enough that that board always falls down uh, once it gets warm it either gets sticky or something and will stick to the side a little bit where it just doesn't drop uh, I've only found that with two by fours with these other boards I, they drop down just fine they burn just fine they put out heat I have various thicknesses of cardboard that I start with and I also have I take all my old bills and stuff and toilet paper rolls and you roll up a few of them you want to leave them a little bit loose so you have airflow through and this is your fire starter you put that in the bottom add a piece of cardboard then you roll up another piece of paper, light it, and you shove it in to try to get that fire started back past in that first uprise elbow. If you don't do that, you'll get smoke out this vent here. And this I can close or I can leave it a little open. I found leaving it a little open is better because it draws air down. And then the, the brick down here I open a little bit sometimes too. So that's it for this update. Um, I've been putting this video off for a while because I wanted to add to it, but things just kept coming up. So, um, what would it work nice if someone was going to use this in a shop was to have this riser pipe go up. The higher you can get this riser pipe, the better, and then drop down. But what would work awesome is if you had a barrel at the top of this and they make those barrel kits for barrel stoves that put the barrel on top of the other barrel. Just get the top barrel kit. Run this up into that barrel. Let that be your big heat exchanger. And then come down out of that barrel and then at some point you have your chimney churn and go back up again. That way it's keeping the heat in that barrel. The the flow of the the flow from the fire, it's drawing air through will help push the exhaust on through and out the chimney. Um, I haven't experimented to see how high you could go with this riser, because I'm kind of limited here. But I would imagine uh, if you had a couple barrels like that with those. I think those are made by Vogelzang also, those uh, brackets that you put, uh, I believe it's a six inch pipe that fits into them. So you just run your rocket stove into that barrel and you could even stack those barrels if you wanted and have multiple going up. But then do the drop down so you're not losing so much heat out of your chimney. So it's my two cents worth. Have a nice day. Praise God.